Um, with Easter approaching, I thought I might share with you an easy Easter project that you could do at home with just a few materials. So all you need for this is a piece of paper, some tape, and uh, any drawing materials that you have. So markers, paint, chalk, uh, pencil crayon or crayon, any of those would do for this. If you don't have tape, uh, I can tell you at the end of the video something that you can do instead. So you can still do this activity even if you don't have tape. So you'll need two pieces of tape for this. One that's about three to four centimeters long and another that's about six to eight. Now you want to put them in the center, making the shape of a cross. Try to line them up, make them straight if you can. Now the best type of tape to use is probably masking tape. Uh, other tape might work as well. Just make sure it's not going to rip the paper because you will have to remove it once you've finished decorating your page. Once you're happy with your cross shape, you can go ahead and start decorating the background using whatever materials you have. Um, Grace is going to be using some paint today. That's what we had. Um, you could do any kind of background you want. You could do rainbow. You could draw a design. Just make sure that you cover the entire page and that you go right over the tape, making sure that it's nice and stuck down and the paint's not going underneath the tape. We want the tape to stay down until we're finished and your painting is dry. For this chalk one, I decided I would do like a sunrise. So I'm gonna start with the sun. I guess it's more of a sunset actually. And then I'll add some other colors that I have. Make sure you get right to all the edges. Okay, then we get to do the best part. We get to do the reveal. So you have to be really careful not to rip your paper and you peel off the tape. That's why it's important to use tape that you know you can peel off easily. Maybe test it in the corner to start so you know it's not going to rip your tape. If you don't have tape, you can uh, draw the cross, just get a ruler. Uh, maybe pencil and a plain sheet of white paper and you're just going to outline your cross very carefully with your ruler and then you cut it out and you can just make sure when you're doing your background that you just cover the entire sheet and then you can just cut this cross out and uh, tape it right over top or glue it over top of your uh, background and it will have basically uh, a similar effect. So here are some finished ones that my kids and I made. We have one with marker, one with paint, and one with chalk. You can write your own message at the bottom. You could write, Jesus is alive, he is risen, Jesus loves me, um, whatever you think is appropriate for your celebration.